In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Here we back, my student, to explain another lesson, which is uh, on unit one. That was the title. Unit one, listen to the grammar. So for the third grade, super goal five out of unit, a check your lifestyle. So presented and prepared by Ahmed Al Misra. So I need you just to pay attention for this because we need today to talk about this lesson. Simple present tense, habitual activities. So those are do and does helping verb. Actually, I am not appropriate with the those explanation here, I think they are mixed information and you can get nothing out of this uh, knowledge. So, um, my student, I need you just to focus on this level regarding to this, um, regarding to this word document. So, look at this. I check your lifestyle. Today we're going to have, for the third, you need one, listen to simple present tense which is the grammar okay now here the time of using this tense form to talk about habits facts hobbies and daily routine actions which happen regularly every day so let's get example i read newspapers every tuesday so in this example I need to focus on three items, which is uh, the basic elements of the simple present tense, which they are pronoun, the third, and time expression. Actually, I made them by highlighted uh, this example. So I need you to focus on another things with the helping verb, with the do and the does. So look at this. The division of the pronouns that go with the do, I, they, we, you, do, okay? And that one is he, she, it, with, the does. So be attention for this. Now this one here, on this section, doesn't, doesn't, okay? Get S. Well, this one here, he, she, it, those pronouns, yes, take S. With the verb, take S with the verb. Okay, let's refer to the examples. Then we're going to see yes, no questions with the helping verb. Okay, look at this. They drink coffee every morning. Okay, great. So, look at the example here. He drinks coffee every morning. So, now this one here for the third best and the verb is taking S. Because we're going to get this one here to transfer that while we're going to have yes, no questions as does. Okay, this S will go to the does. Okay, take that another example. We walk to school every Sunday. So this one here, she walks to school every Sunday. So remember this, he, she, it with the does, the verb, the verb taking S. While I, they, we, you, with the do helping verb, doesn't. They, they don't take S. They don't take S. Okay, so look at those sentences. We, we need to transfer them to be used as yes, no questions. So look at this. Now here I'm going to recognize that the verb is naturally without s because they and we because it belongs to this group so i'm going to use do okay do they drink coffee every day yes they do no they don't no they don't if i'm going to have the answer for the short answers for those who are no uh, yes no questions now the second example we walk to school every sunday do we walk to school every Sunday or do uh, you walk to school every Sunday so um, uh, there is um, um, accept regarding to, to, to use um, speaker and listener okay look into the second example for the second group which is uh, two which we said he she does taking s with the verb he drinks coffee every morning does 
So it's coming here, it does coming from the S, which is following the third for the third person pronouns. So does he drink coffee every morning? And the second example, she walks to school every Sunday. Does she walk, drink, okay, without S, because this is, this is yes, no questions, okay? Um, to school every Sunday, yes, she does, no, she doesn't. Then we're going to have something else, which is a title with frequency. Okay, frequency, um, they are divided to two main parts. Number one, adverbs, and the other one, expressions. Adverbs and expressions. So, adverbs, pay attention, is coming in the beginning of the sentence, okay? If I say here, always, usually, often, sometimes, seldom, rarely, never. So those we call them adverbs of frequency, adverbs of frequency. While this one here, expressions, coming at the end of the sentence, coming at the end of the sentence all the time. Now this is here, the equivalent term, equivalent term we gone to the always. So look at the example. I always do my homework early. This is here, adverbs of frequency. So I am going to transfer those sentences or change those to adverbs or to the expressions, always. So immediately through this timetable, it will be this, um, it will be transferred or changed like this. I do my homework early all the time. This is here expressions. This is here expressions. Expressions of frequency. This is the tape of the sentence, okay? So, I always do my homework early, okay? And this one here, adverbs of frequency. And the other one, I do my homework all the time because we got it here because always equivalent term, equivalent expression is all the time. Now, usually, often, sometimes, both of them from time to time, okay, from time to time. Seldom, twice a week, rarely, once a week, never, hardly ever. And this is here, there is exceptional, okay, exceptional, again, to the hardly ever, may is coming in the middle of the sentence, okay, may. So, look at the examples. They often stay in the cafe, okay, at verbs, because this one here is coming in the beginning, in the beginning, those here coming in the beginning of the sentence um, for the first type of the frequency, which they are adverbs. Look into the same example. They stay in the cafe from time to time. So often, equivalent time, equivalent term for this one here is from time to time. So they stay in the cafe from time to time. And this kind of sentence, we call this Exhibitions of frequency, exhibitions of frequency. And this one here is adverbs of frequency. So be attention, they are two kinds. Okay, then the last, the last one which we need to know about using how, with the three styles. How often, how often, and how much, asking about the time, and how long, asking about the period, okay? Asking about the period. So give those examples. How often do you play football? Okay, seldom, twice a week. I can answer with that one. I mean, we have approximately a lot of answers. So, um, now those are enough. How much time do you need to go there? About 10 minutes. How long do you spend in your homework? About 15 minutes. So those, um, those are what you need to know about using how with the different style about using as a frequency, adverbs of frequency, asking uh, with the much and asking about the period with the long. Uh, okay, so um, that's what we need to know about uh, this one here. So actually what is in your book like this one here? Um, actually, um, I don't prefer just to study from this because um, most of my question will be coming like on like this style. So now this time we're going to talk Arabic for the, those students who need the help uh, in their homes um, in, in their homes for those for those items. Okay. انتبهوا معي شباب بارك الله فيكم. الآن بنشرح لكم درس القواعد في الوحدة 
الثانية للصف الثالث متوسط الفصل الدراسي الأول للعام 2020 أباكم تتبهوا معي عنوان الوحدة Check your life style افحص نمط حياتك أم... اليوم بيكون عندنا بإذن الله سبحانه وتعالى الزمن المضارع البسيط يستخدم يستخدم للحديث عن العادات والحقائق والهوايات والأمور الروتينية التي تحدث بشكل متكرر طيب مثال هذا الزمن أو مما يتكون هذا الزمن يتكون من ثلاثة أشياء وهي الضمير والفعل والمحدد الزمني pronoun plus the verb plus time expression موجودة في هذا المثال I read the newspapers every day أنا أقرأ الجرائد كل يوم ثلاثاء هنا ثلاثة أشياء 1, 2, 3 فهذه المحددات الثلاثة هي مباشرة التي تدل على هذا الزمن طيب نأخذ شيء آخر دائما متعلق بهذا الزمن وهو الفعل المساعد do و does do تمشي مع الضمائر التالية I, they, we, you, do وهذه لا تأخذ مع الفعل اس انتبهوا لهذه النقطة لأن هذه هي ركيزة الأسئلة التي سوف أضعها هي شي it does بمعنى هل إذا أتت في السؤال وهذه تأخذ مع الفعل اس في هذه الضمائر الثلاثة هي شي it هو هي هو أو هي الغير العاقل نأخذ عليها أمثلة ننطلق الأمثلة جمل طيب they drink coffee every morning هم يشربون القهوة في كل كل صباح هنا نلاحظ الفعل مع I they we you مع الفعل ما أخذت اس ما تأخذ اس مباشرة وعندما آتي لهذه الجمل مباشرة وحولها للجنب الآخر لأسئلة نعم أو لا حتى أجيب عليه لأن helping fair بيصبح بالطريقة التالية لأن أنا عارف المجموعة هذه أنها تمشي مع دو بيصبح Do they drink coffee every day or every morning فهذه انتبهوا معي الأفعال دائما ما تأخذ مع هذه الضمائر اس خاصة في حالة دو طيب ننتقل للنوع الثاني He she it مع does He drinks نفس الأمثلة اللي موجودة فوق نفسها اللي أسفل He drinks coffee every morning أخذت مع الفعل إس إذا نيابة عن داز مع هي شي إت طيب نشوف السؤال الإس اللي موجودة في الجملة تتحول إلى رأس السؤال داز بمعنى هل هل هو يشرب القهوة كل صبح شي ووكس تو سكول إفري صندي هل هي تذهب إلى المدرسة كل يوم أحد فتنتبهوا لهذه العملية لأن هذه هي ركيزة الأسئلة في هذه المنطقة أن هي شيء تأخذ مع الفعل يأخذ الفعل معها إس نيابة عن دز وعندما تحول هذه الأفعال الأفعال الموجودة فيها الإس مباشرة تنتقل بالسؤال بمعنى هل إلى دز مع هي شيء إت وآي ذي وي يو تأخذ معها دو مباشرة والفعل يكون فعل مجرد وعندما أتي لتحويل الجملة أضيف دو من عندي مباشرة وتستمر الجملة على ما هي عليه ثم أجاوب بعد ذلك Uh, do they drink coffee every day? Yes, they do. No, they don't. وفي حالة المثال الثاني uh, He drinks coffee every morning. Does he drink coffee every morning? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. So pay attention. انتبهوا لهذه الشغلات. أنتك الموضوع الثاني بارك الله فيكم يا أحبابي الطلاب وهو بعنوان Frequency التكرار. ينقسم التكرار إلى نوعين. إلى نوعين اذكروها. Adverbs أحوال expressions تعابير النوع الأول adverbs النوع الثاني تعابير إيش الفرق فيما بين الاثنين الفرق فيما بين الاثنين أن هذه في بداية الجمل تكون بعد الضمير مباشرة وقبل الفعل هذه مباشرة بينما expressions لا تكون في نهاية الجملة وبما يقابلها في الجنب الآخر كيف يكون نمط أسئلتي حتى نكون واضحين بيكون نمط أسئلتي أن أنا بعطيك جملة من ضمن الجمل هذه طيب خلنا نستعرض أول شيء adverbs Always, usually, often, sometimes, seldom, rarely, never ترجمتها موجودة الاكسبريشنز التي تقابل هذه الأحوال تقابلها في الجنب الآخر Always, all the time هنا دائما هنا كل الوقت Usually, often, sometimes الثلاثة الأشياء هذه كأحوال أو فريكونسي أحوال متكررة نستخدمها from time to time Seldom, twice a week Rarely once a week مرة واحدة في الأسبوع أو مرتين في الأسبوع سندم نفر أبدا هارد اللي إفر ممكن تأتي في نهاية الجملة كإكسبريشن ممكن تأتي في وسط الجملة 
على حسب هذه تعتبر حالة استثنائية كما سبق إن شرحت لكم سابقا طيب نأخذ عليها يا شباب بارك الله فيكم نأخذ عليها أمثلة النوع الأول I always do my homework early إيش نوع الجملة هذه؟ نوع الجملة adverbs ليه؟ لأن هنا عندي always أي واحدة من هذه always usually often sometimes seldom rarely never أي واحدة من هذه تكون في مثل هذا الموقع يكون نوع الجملة هنا adverbs جمل أحوال متكررة طيب أبقلب الجملة هذه أو أحول الجملة هذه إلى الجنب الآخر إلى النوع الثاني expressions أشوف إيش يقابل always يقابلها all the time I do my homework early all the time all the time تعتبر نوع الجملة هنا expressions تعابير تعابير التكرار تعابير التكرار أو النوع الأول أحوال التكرار طيب نأخذ مثال آخر نأخذ مثال آخر they often stay in the cafe هذه نوعها إيش؟ نوعها adverbs لأن often من ضمن المجموعة الأولى اللي هي adverbs adverbs of frequency طيب نحول الجملة هذه إلى الجنب الآخر اللي هي إلى expressions ها change to adverbs or to expressions طيب they stay in the cafe from time to time from time to time اللي هي بما يقابل often أو usually أو sometimes في الجنب الأول فتنتبهوا لهذا العملية أعيد أكرر ثاني مرة بارك الله فيكم الـ adverbs adverbs of frequency تأتي في بداية الجمل expressions of frequency تأتي في نهاية الجمل تنتبه لهذه النقطة طيب آخر نقطة عندنا في هذا الدرس بارك الله فيكم وهي السؤال بكيف بسأل عن آه عن التكرار how often آه how much بسأل عن الوقت و how long أعتقد واضحة يعني ما يبغى لها أي تطويل آه في مثل هذا I wish you just to have a good time with me. I need you just to follow up your lessons with me. Study hard in your home and stay your home to avoid COVID. Um, uh, to to avoid this um pandemic of COVID-19. So, uh, see you next time. Thank you so much for listening, and see you again.